ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode here on european confessions the following story that you're going to be listening to it comes from a translation of a message that i received the message reads like this hello brother nashi how are you can you please post my own story as hidden identity my brother i am a young lady who is aged 25 years old my story brother nashi it goes on like this it is a confession about my family it is something that we can call a family secret brother nashi i grew up in an environment whereby it was a polygamous marriage my father he had several wives and most of them they left him because my father kept on remarrying but it was my mother and the first wife they were the ones who remained at the time when my father passed away so my mother she was the one who was the youngest so everyone in the family hated her because they said that she was a gold digger but as far as we know my mother really loved my father the problem was not my mother but the problem was my father my father was the one who kept on chasing after several women even when he was still alive we would see my mother crying this would be after she would have found out that my father was busy cheating on her there was even a time when my mother broke down and she started crying we asked her and she told us that she could not tell us what was going on but after we had pressurized her she told us that there was this other night when our father had returned late from work and when he came to her bedroom then my mother saw that the zip on his trouser was opened so my mother then said to my father why was the zip on his trousers opened then my father tried to hide to cover himself up but my mother got angry and they started fighting while they were fighting that was when my mother found out that my father actually had a used condom that was still there on his manhood along the way he later confessed that he had picked up this young lady after picking up that young lady they spoke with each other then they decided to make love my father just parked his car by the side of the road then they made love and he forgot to remove the condom that was there on his manhood my father was the one who was a womanizer so as for my father's first wife he, she only had three daughters she didn't give birth to a son and my mom when she got married she was the only one who was able to give birth to a son who is my brother but the problem is that right now my brother he is mentally ill when my father saw that my mother had given birth to a boy my father whenever he would reinvest his businesses he kept on like making sure that my my brother his son was the one who was at the forefront of everything and all the properties that were left behind by our father they are all in my brother's name and whenever my father was doing all of these things he never told anyone it was my mom who knew everything that was going on and my father had told my mother that she was not supposed to tell anyone because this truth was supposed to be revealed when he had died my father was such a quiet man he didn't want to debate a lot he did his things alone he didn't want to he didn't want to be questioned that is why he loved my mom because my mom was a, an obedient woman whenever my father will say i want you to do this thing that is what my mom will do all of a sudden my father then fell sick he really got sick it was like he was suffering something like his heart there was something that was wrong there with the money that we had we then decided that my father had to be flown to india and that is where he went when my father was there that was when he came back when he came back after the operation unfortunately my father then passed away my father passed away while he was still on the plane coming from india after my father had died we mourned for him and we buried him after we had buried him 
all of our relatives because we come from a very big family because this is a family that follows this tradition of polygamy so my father's brothers all of them they have several wives so whenever we have a family meeting it is always a large gathering when they came then the lawyer came as well that was when the will was read out and we saw that most of the properties they were not given to my father's first wife because we thought that this was what was going to happen then my father had left this other letter that he had given to the lawyer my father had said that us as the girls in the family one day we were going to be married and he had made his son my brother to be the guardian if it will ever happen that when we go to get married then things that will not work out in our marriages we will come since you will be the guardian of his wealth but this did not sit well with my father's first wife because we were only given cars including her daughters as well they were given cars my father's first wife wanted everything to be left in her name because my father was into real estate he has so many properties around harare as well as two more properties in blawayo all of these they are rented out and people and the people that are staying there they are like wealthy they pay good rentals so this is what my father's first wife was after when my father's first wife so that this is what my father had written in his letter explaining all the things that he had done and as to why he had done all of these things because he said that leaving these things in the name of my brother he wanted his empire to grow he didn't want his company to be owned by our husbands he wanted his blood to own the companies after a month this was after my father had been buried my mother one day uh, when i was returning back from varsity i found out that my mom she was just lying she was sleeping on this other couch my mom was someone who was very active and for her to be sleeping on the couch like that i immediately saw that there was something that was wrong with my mom i asked my mom what was going on she said i have a terrible headache i then rushed with her to the private and then we were given some medication the following day i received a phone call strange enough this phone call it was from my cousin sister she was the one who told me that when she had something happening at our house then she ran there and she found out that my mom had fallen down my mom was trying to make a cup of coffee she fell down and the water from that hot kettle when she dragged that electrical cable then the water was pouring on her body but my mom she had since passed away that is how my mom passed away everyone was just saying that it was depression depression because my mom really loved my father after we had buried my mother that was when we continued living and we said that life was supposed to go on my brother even though he was young he kept on running my father's business and everything was going according to plan he was even kind hearted because one day he spoke with my father's first wife and he said that he wanted all of his cousin sisters to start working and they had been denied that opportunity by our father when he was still alive he said that he wanted them to know the ins and out of the business so they were also working my brother i thought that everything that my brother had done was going to bring the family together but each and every time they were always arguing each and every time they were always fighting with my brother they didn't want to give him the respect that he was supposed to be given there was this other time my brother he had gone to work and he was attending this other meeting with these other investors so he returned back home very late when he returned when he was opening the garage that was when he said that he saw a big snake when he saw this big snake he started screaming a lot because this snake it was actually on top of the bonnet of his car where this snake had came where this snake had came from he could not understand 
Brother Nashi, when my brother started screaming, we thought that he was going to go quiet, but he screamed throughout the night. I called some neighbors. As for my father's first wife, she refused to get out of her house. She was locked in her house, she and her daughters, because my father, he built two main houses at the same yard. So my father's first wife, a main house is close to the gate then our house it is a little bit down in the yard i rushed to her house and i knocked i knocked and i knocked i even heard that they were watching a movie but they ignored me i then returned back and i saw that my brother kept on screaming our maid was the one who was trying to calm him down but it was like there was something that was carrying him, something spiritual that was happening to him. I then rushed to our neighbors and I spoke with one of these women who is a prophet. She came, Brother Nashi. She tried everything. She poured some holy water on my brother. She tried to rub some coarse salt all over his body. But my brother kept on screaming until the man in our street said it was far much better for us to tie our brother before he could run away because he was now losing his mind i could not sleep because my brother we had just left him in the garage i tried to give him some blankets but he would laugh at me and he would kick those blankets to the side and he would just roll over on the cold floor and he said that it was very hot he was enjoying everything that was happening and we saw that indeed my brother had lost his mind my brother lost his mind for only a week and he was okay when my brother recovered the problem is that right now my brother he is taking drugs you know that heroin that thing that they call guka in brackets heroin that is what my brother is taking he was a non-smoker but he is now smoking weed he is not even concerned about going to work anymore my cousin's sisters are the ones that are running the real estates that were left behind by my father. Your dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to us by our dear sister. She then sent another voice note and she said in February, that was when my father, my mother's relatives, our uncles called me and they said that we were supposed to go to this other prophet. When we went to that prophet, that was when we were told that my father's first wife had gone to this other traditional healer. This traditional healer is a, Ch is a Chichewa speaking man. And that man, that traditional healer from Malawi, is the one who made my mom to die. That same traditional healer is the one who gave my father's first wife some charms so that she can go and bury these charms at the place where we buried my mother. So right now what is happening to us, Brother Nash, is that my mother, she is more like a demonic evil spirit that has been raised from the grave. My mother, she is attacking me and my brother spiritually. She does not even know that she is an evil spirit that is now attacking her own children because of the charms that were buried at her grave. Brother Nashi, if there is any prophet that can assist my brother so that he can stop taking these drugs, I am asking for your assistance. Dear listeners, right there was the second voice note that was sent to me by our dear sister.